Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're looking at these, which are the Arctic Trigger Mitt from Ironclad Performance Wear. I have looked at a handful of other gloves from Ironclad, and I can tell you that I do like their products so far from what I've seen. What I can tell you about these right here is that they are my go-to set of gloves or mittens, depending on how you define them, for the winter now. These have taken first place compared to all the other gear that I have when it comes to things that are going to keep my hands warm when I'm out there in the winter and in the snow. Let me tell you about the three different ways that I've tested these mitts out. First, what I've done is I've been out in the woods in the winter, in the snow, and not been very active. So I'm just kind of standing around doing a couple small tasks. So my body heat isn't being raised and therefore, you know, warming up my whole person. I'm just kind of standing around seeing if these actually will keep my hands warm. The second thing I did was actually be out in the woods and be walking around, be a bit more active to see how these uh, kept me warm. And then thirdly, I'll roll in some footage right here. You'll actually see that I put my hands out the window as I drove for quite a bit on the highway. And I'm gonna give you some details on what the temperature was, how fast I was going. Um, and in all those tests, these things just were very impressive. Over the years, when it comes to activities that I've done out in the woods for extended amounts of time, the vast majority of those have been done in the winter. So backpacking, hiking, most of those things are happening when there's snow on the ground and so I'm always looking for gear that's going to help keep me warm and these things have just performed really well. First off let's talk about some of the recommended uses you know what Ironclad says these mitts are good for. Now they recommend in particular cold weather construction, oil and gas drilling, extraction and refining, fracking, tool pushing, mining and demolition. So I think when I first saw these uh, they were called or they were kind of under the category of uh, riggers mitts. So people who are working out in extreme situations you know oil rigs where it's cold out it's just nasty out and you got to have not only warmth but also protection and we're going to talk about the protection right now as far as the palm they are en 388 cut level 5 rated and if you dig into that background a little bit you'll see that there's different ways they rate uh, how safe uh, hand protection is and that's a very high level now i'm not in the you know oil rig field i'm not out working in heavy duty construction all the time what i can tell you is that for someone who's in the outdoors a lot you know if i fall or if i you know am out in the woods and i scrape this up against something even you know like i'm doing work around camp or something this is going to generally be keeping me much safer than your average set of gloves so that's definitely a big plus the palms are made of synthetic leather and they are three layer water and oil proof so that's great you know if you put your hand down in the snow you're not going to lift it up and find out that you're uh, you're soaking wet and starting to get really cold there is a thumb saddle reinforcement as well and they note that there is a silicone print at the fingers for excellent grip and you can see that on the one that is turned palm up they have that imprint there a couple other quick details you can see i've taken out the liner that is 220 gram or eight ounce insulation uh, it does have that trigger finger, so that gives you a little bit more dexterity. The impact protection, that kind of rubberized stuff on top, is actually silicone rubber, and it's flexible down to minus 50 degrees. It does have hook and loop uh, on the uh, wrist, so that'll keep any snow from getting in there. And it does have, obviously, those reflective uh, sections, so you're definitely going to be able to be picked up at night. If somebody shines a flashlight over, they're definitely going to be seeing uh, these mitts reflecting back at them. Here's a look at the liners. You can see the hook and loop uh, is down there on the bottom. And you could certainly wear these around camp or in the tent at night, whatever it was. Uh, if the mitts as a whole were too bulky, you can easily remove these and use them, you know, as is. Here's a quick look inside the mitt, and you can see this is where the hook and loop is going to attach to the outer, uh, the outer shell or the outer mitt. You can also see this kind of reflective material. It's made of a material to reflect heat back to you. So as heat escapes from your hand, obviously this is going to help keep you warm. And then the heat that, heat that gets beyond the mitt is going to be reflected back toward your hand and keep it inside the glove with this reflective material. Let me tell you about the driving test now, okay? So it was single digits as far as our temperature that day. So let's say it was nine degrees. I had the window rolled down, I put on one of the mitts, and I stuck it out the window. So I was driving, and you'll see the footage here, you know, probably between 55 up to 65 miles an hour, and uh, I was getting some footage of my hand out the window, and I drove from around Portsmouth, New Hampshire, to Dover, New Hampshire, and I'll roll in a, uh, an image here so you can see how far that was, and kept my hand out the entire time, and when I brought it in, the outside of the mitt was definitely cold, but the inside, you know, my hands were totally fine. And I'm not just saying like, ah, oh, there's like a, it's kind of painful, but it's not terrible. Like I was good to go. I was, I was not feeling the impact of driving with that high wind chill factor, with it being single, single digit degrees, really at all. Um, the outside was definitely cold, like I said, but I was, I was good to go. So that, that, man, that just like was the, Okay, these have been good in the woods for me, but now I'm just going to do a little bit kind of a kind of a silly test, but definitely to to push them to the limits and they performed 
quite well. So yeah, I was definitely impressed with these guys up to that point and then definitely after that point as well. Here's a look at some of the other gloves I've used over the years. So obviously at the end we have the ironclad ones. Next up we have uh, two sets of winter mountaineering gloves from Marmot. And um, these ones are a little bit lower grade. Those are definitely higher grade. They've got leather, uh, leather palms on them. So yeah, I mean, those are, these have both been good sets, but again, compared to the ironclad, they're, this one just, the, the ironclads outshine them. This is one of my first kind of setups for cold, cold weather. You've got these big fleece mittens that are getting snowed on right now. And then you have uh, big EMS mitts to keep the moisture off. And those work well, but still again, not as good as the ironclads. And then down here on the end, I have a set of military surplus uh, mittens. And these are, for the price, quite reasonable. And uh, they do a good job. So these have been my, let's see, one, two, three, four, five sets of, you know, for cold, cold weather, um, winter mittens or gloves. And the ironclads now are the ones I'm going to. These ones are really good. Um, I've made my case. I've shown you the footage. I've shown you the other ones I've used. And at this point, these are gonna be the go-to uh, for me. And we'll let you know, it's uh, late December now, 2016, so we'll go through the rest of this winter season and see how they hold up. But these are um, these have been quite impressive. Let's close out here by doing something a little bit interesting. Obviously, if you have thoughts that you want to share, uh, you can leave a comment. But in particular, I want to hear, how would you review mittens or gloves? Like, what would you do to make a review interesting? Because uh, I really like these things. I like the other ones I've tried from Ironclad. And, um, and yeah, I'm like, who wants to watch a 25 minute video or even a 10 minute video, 15 minute video about gloves or mittens? It just doesn't seem that exciting. So what would you do to make a video about gloves or mittens interesting? And maybe sometime in the future, we'll use your idea. Thanks as always for checking out the videos. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.